Welcome to Selenium Master Apache JMeter video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to create log files using Binshell post processor in JMeter performance testing. In some cases, you may need to create external log file in your JMeter test. You can write test results to a file in several different ways. As explained in previous video tutorial, you can use flexible file writing or you can directly specify a file name in view results in table or view results tree settings. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to use bin shell script to create external CSV log file. Let's look at the JMeter test plan. I created a test plan. And in the second step, I added a random variable. So right click on the test plan. Click on add. Click on config element. Click on the random variable. I rename it the random variable as generate random variable. Variable name test underscore number. Output format selenium master underscore three zeros. Minimum value for the random variable is 100. Maximum value is 1000. And in the options, I selected true for per thread or per user. I added a thread group. Thread group is set to generate 15 samples. So number of threads 3, ramp up time 0 seconds, loop count is 5. Under this thread group, I right click, click on add, click on the sampler, click on jp add gc dash dummy sampler. Then in the dummy sampler settings, for the response code, I set dollar sign bracket random 198 200. Then response time is 1 to 10 seconds. In the request data, variable test number and response data variable test number. So this is a dummy sampler. We use test number both in the request data and response data. After the dummy sampler, I right click, click on the add, click on the post processors and click on bin shell post processor. So on the bin shell post processor, I can rename the name. Let's say create custom log. with script. I save this step. In this script area, I wrote the following scripts. The string response equals wars.get test number. Because test number was the variable, so we get the 
test number variable and assign the value as the response. So log dot info response. We log the response. I defined another string variable named email equals services at seleniummaster.com. And on this line, I defined string node equals this is a test thread plus jmeter contacts dot get thread number. So this is how you can use jmeter context ctx. For more information on the available jmeter context messages, you can visit the website jmeter.apache.org slash api slash org slash apache slash jmeter threads jmeter context.html you can use all the available messages depending on your need in this example i just get thread number this will return the thread number used this method now i defined a file writer file writer fs stream equals new file writer under c apache jmeter under test log create custom log and true true means each stream will be appended to the previous stream so we need to use true in order to log all test streams i defined a buffered writer out equals new buffer writer file stream then in the response out dot write response plus code comma plus email plus note because we are going to write a csv file comma separated file so in between the variables i put comma after each thread, add a line separator. So this will create a new line. Out.write system.get property line separator. Now we close the buffered writer and close the file writer. Now I save it. Then after that, I added response assertion. So right click on the sampler. Click on the add assertion. So this will be response assertion. On the response assertion, the response code should equals to 200. Now I have added view results tree, view results in table as listeners. So right click on the dummy sampler, click on the add button, click on the listener. So I picked view results in table, view results tree. So in this example, I defined three thread groups and five loop count. So we should have overall 15 samples. Now the tree is empty and the result table is empty. Now let me run the script and observe the log file. So click on the dummy sampler. Click on the start button. So the dummy sampler test is done. Now let's look at the result. On the result tree, we have several tests passed and several tests failed. In the table, we have total samples 15, average 6 milliseconds. We have some failed tests and some past test cases.
So now let's look at the custom log file. So this is the folder in the script. C Apache JMeters 3.0 test log and this is the custom log file. I right click on the log file, click on edit with notepad plus plus. Now let's look at the log file structure. So first file is response because we use random variable for each thread. So after Selenium master, the numbers are different. And second one is the email because email is static. So we have email for all threads. And now we have thread group. So we had three thread groups. So this is a test thread zero, test thread one, test thread zero, test thread one. We have test thread two. So by using the shell script, we are able to write an external CSV log file. So in your JMeter test, if you want to create a custom log file, you can always use post processor bin shell post processor to create custom log file and in the custom script you can include different file format in this file writer section or you can use different variables depending on your test plan If you have any questions regarding this video tutorial, you can send email to services at seleniummaster.com. For instructional articles, you can always visit the website www.seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.